I don't think that you're fat. You look good. Thanks, buddy. Your ass is like really tight. For I know a it's bigger always guy. tight. It's my ass is always tight. It's You've true. always had like a remarkably, remarkably muscular, like strong tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> Steve and I appreciate like, it forever. I know. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just say that was that's all I really got. And that's gonna be the intro to the whole show. I've already <laughs> I've already drank a beer. Have we not even started? Yet? No, we have not started. <laughs> To be a member of our nerdy metal community, hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments or suggestions, hit us up at worshipattributenerd at gmail.com. This week on the show, we catch up with my old friend and ex-bandmate, and I wrestled a bear once, Stephen J. Bradley. Worship and tribute, nerd! Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Michael, a.k.a. Rickshaw, and this is Worship and Tribute Nerd, the show where metal dudes nerd out. We're working on starting a metal nerd community, so if you got any suggestions, questions, comments, hit us up at worshipandtributenerd at gmail.com. Today, I have an extremely special episode, but first, my co-hosts are here today, Fuzz. Hello. And Lee. Hello. Also with us, the reason it's extremely special is my old friend, Stephen Bradley. Stephen! Stevie Say B. hello. Stevie B. Stevie it's me. B. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm Steve B. Hi. <laughs> uh, we've done a few things with like other Iwabo members in the past, but w- I, me and you haven't seen each other or really talked to each other in a long time. I think that you know, for a long time, there was kind of some animosity between us. and It the- was a sick band. And the way <laughs> I was literally about to say, that. I don't want to interrupt your like heartfelt monologue, but you said that it started f-ing here. right. Animosity was a sick band. Also, the album Animosity by Seven Dust was sick too. Was a sick album too. Dumb. So. Dumb. 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 Sick. Um, but yeah. so Animosity is actually tight. Animosity is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Sick. Yes. So, <laughs> we, but yeah, we didn't talk for a long time. I think we only really talked one time for a while when we kind of made up. I I, I was actually tired of, you know, having a grudge against you and that's when, you know, mm. yeah. I didn't know I had a grudge. I didn't know I got a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> that's a type that's a type movie. These are all good things, right? Right. These are you all great. you actually you actually had a scary Asian man grudge. <laughs> Whoa. Right. Wow. Wow. wow and I would be like So it's like the ring? Uh Something like that. Wait. Right. Okay. Yeah, this okay. is the video you see all. before you die now. Good <laughs> <Yeah>. job. <laughs> oh, tight. <laughs> but yeah. Die tonight. Oh, but yeah, this is the first time, you know, we've we've talked aside from that and we haven't even done like a video call. So we haven't seen each other face to face since like fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Right? Damn, was it that long ago? I haven't seen I don't know. I mean I call did I call you up? Yeah, we talked about it. I mean, yeah, when you know, when we kinda started clearing (laughs) the air up and stuff like that. Um, but I think the last time we saw each other face to face was like gift of death video, right? And then cheesecake. We all ate a lot of cheesecake. Uh, That sounds delicious. (laughs) Right. And then That was uh that was Courtney's like I finished vocals celebrate yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she demanded a cheesecake because she went on like a five or six month diet. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah, yeah, we, we <sighs> f-ing gorged ourselves with cheesecake at the end of that. So, oh, can I get up and get a beer actually? Shut the f- <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyways, we, <sighs> we actually said, Lee, you know, you might want to stay out of this because, you know, maybe we're just going to have too many people on the mic. And then you talked him into it, but it's fine as long as he. I'm having a great time. I mean, time. I saw him. I got excited. You know, <laughs> no, it's, he's leave. It's look totally at him, look at that face. I know his face he's just keeps old. getting bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, even when you, even while you hated me, he still loved me. So like, <laughs> same come dude. On. Whoa, you hear well, that? Hey, that's not. That's probably not true because even his hair hates his face. It's retreating <laughs> it's to it's the true. back of his head. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 oh, the, the capacity I can love is yes, that is true. That's true. <laughs> we had a rough breakup, so you know I was actually tired of holding that grudge, and See, you know I was in a weird spot because you know. I was friends with both of you, so I had to stay friends with both of you. 
Right. I just saw you more, which it would have been cooler if you did more. But I mean, you know, I mean, I it's unfortunate. Tired. It's unfortunate you had to be friends with either of us, much less <laughs> both of us. So yeah, you know, right. Whatever. Both at no, the same no, time. No, I, I actually, I love you guys way too much. I, I just want to be friends with myself, and that's the hardest part. <laughs> God damn no, it! I, I, we, <laughs> we don't just, got we don't got time for that shit, Lee. You didn't get the f- out this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Go See, on. he gets it. <laughs> now he, now he's in. regretting it. <laughs> Try to bring you in here talking about your problems. <laughs> it's just what I'm good at. I don't know. But yeah, let's I'm you okay. know. Let's I'm okay. you know tell the tell the people what you've been up to since the band and everything. The tour stuff still for. I can't believe how many years it's been since we. You just said we did that video. That's crazy. Um. I was doing the like Diplo Major Laser tour stuff even during like the last Iwabo like Europe tour. Mm-hmm. Right? I don't even know if you remember that shit. It was crazy. It was like flying to Major Laser shows to then Iwabo shows to the, yeah, anyway. Right. Um, did that for some years. Did like that and did some stuff with Marshmallow. Um, yeah. And then we did, I don't know, did tour stuff. And then slowly was like, all right, so I'm old and. <laughs> my knees hurt and uh, my back don't work too good no more. I gotta stop living in an airplane. Right. And uh, we had sort of started. Uh, my wife and I started this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so let's try to see how many Borat references we can do to ruin just ruin this whole shit. Right. Um, we started the company a couple of years ago now, and I was like, cool. Um, you know, if this gets to the point where you know it makes sense to. Do this full time, great, and it did, and yeah, it's like I mean, twenty twenty. Of course, everyone sat at home in their pajamas more than normal, but right, like two thousand nineteen, we were working from home, doing sort of the same type shit, and yeah, here I am, still at home in my pajamas, selling drugs. The shirt is actually like stretchy spandexy. It's it it might look nice, but it's like fake nice. Dude, you got that dad (laughs) mode. Dude, dads wear comfortable clothes now. I I don't even put real pants on. I just wear joggers now all the time. I don't. I mean, that's I have. If you could, I don't own a pair of jeans that fits me. I swear to fucking God. All I got are the, these stretch. I can probably stretch them into frame. Yeah, look at that. I mean, if you could look I'm business casual, pants. if you could look business casual and it's sweatpants material, yeah. what else do you need in life? You know Nothing. what I mean? Absolutely. That's what I said. Except for if it's gray, you, some heroin. you know, try not to show yeah. off your dick in public. You know what I mean? Because everybody be looking. Luckily, my teacher. See, I just don't go in public, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. it's fine. All right. Hey, Steven, I've got a question about, like, uh, like touring with Diplo and stuff like that. How was the Yes, whole... yes, uh, yes, young man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right okay. here. Okay. okay. All right. Right here. Yeah, I think oh, I sorry. Uh, here. <laughs> we'll let you have your make-a-wish question. <laughs> <laughs> You guys make fun of me 13 to 14 more times. I'm out of here, right? <laughs> uh, Anyways. <laughs> Why you swear to God? Anyway. No, I was just curious. How, like, what was it? Was it bonkers being, you know, I mean, not Ray, I, but. It, I don't know what it is. Um, EDM crowd was, and stuff like it that. It was like. crazy because, like, when I started doing it, it was pretty much just me and Jared. Who I think you all know. I know like, Jared. You Jer- definitely oh, know Jared. Jared Pintinato. He, or, like, right? Yeah, like he toured with uh, like We Came as Romans and Of Mice and Men. Mm. Uh, who I don't I, I'm know, sure like that they've like ran into no, him I, at I some know. point. I know. I know. I know. I know. A couple of times. Yeah. So like at the beginning, it was literally just like us and uh, maybe like other friend Kyle who was like doing lights, and it was crazy. It was like some of the first shows we did. It's like Major Laser, Diplo, whatever, which is the same kind of thing. Diplo is one of the guys in Major Laser, whatever. Um, they're like headlining, like ACL, like doing crazy huge shit. Yeah. But it was like the three of us figuring it out. It was pretty intense. And then by like the last Major Laser big tours, you know, it's like a crew of like 40 people. So yeah. it sort of escalated quickly. Um, I mean, because like DJs weren't headlining all these festivals like over Metallica not that long ago. Then all of a sudden it was like, Oh, tight. DJs, uh, bands, you can just get the fuck out of here. No one yeah. cares. Yeah. yeah. It's true, thankfully. And, uh, it's true. Yeah, it's just crazy. And, I mean, not just flying everywhere. I mean, like, when we flew to do, like, a tour, it was like, shit, we fly into Europe. <laughs> I don't know. We weren't, we weren't actually excited about it, but it was like, we didn't do it every day. And then when it's like, all right, I've been on an airplane four times 
today, what the <laughs> hell is happening? Like literally like four shows in like four different countries in the same 24 hour period. And that's just normal. Cool. Wow. So it was a lot. It was cool. I mean, it was really cool though. Can't complain. Got to do a bunch of crazy shit and like old West Diplo, whatever. Cool dude. Awesome. So dude, that's so sick. Yeah, yeah, that's right. nice. So in that time period, what are, what are some people that you met that were like, Oh shit. I wabo. Mm, uh, uh, no one, everyone was just like, yeah, kind of like the Lee, like make a wish thing. They kind of just would pet me on the head and be like, oh, that's nice you're here. Oh, you were playing the um, thousand cap rooms? Okay. No, I mean, I'm trying to, like, it's pretty great. And now it's become in the last, like, whatever, like, metal culture is like, it's like cool. I don't know. It's like after, like, Justin Bieber did a death metal logo shirt or something. I don't know what happened. It's like metal became cooler. Or like the Kardashians wore a Slayer shirt. I don't know. I remember we did like, just like Post Malone's, like one of his first tours it was like a Diplo run in Australia, like forever ago. And he, I mean, obviously, like famously now, like, you know, likes metal, likes a bunch of crazy shit. And it was crazy. Because at the time, I was like, I would never expect this. He's like, I wobble. That's cool. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Who else dope. I even know? Like Marshmallow himself, like old old Marshmallow. He's just a metal dude. He's like a hardcore metal fan. <laughs> I, <laughs> knew that was coming for some I just talk about him and get excited. I'm um, not familiar with Marshmallow. It's crazy. He's huge. Really? He like he's like Nickelodeon level like of Nickelodeon. DJ stuff. What? Like he seriously Holy went shit. for that. It's like a whole different. I don't know. Um, really? I remember you saying it's that. It's crazy. Honestly, West I would always too. randomly meet people and like, they'd be like, oh shit, I wobble. That's tight. And I'm like, how the f have you heard of our <laughs> weird band that seven people know about? Like, where were you? <laughs> yeah. Where were you, bro? I remember you telling me that Wes, like, produced before he was, like, doing the DJ stuff, right? He produced some bands and one of them was, like, what's oh, that? Oh, he did Rolo Tomasi. Yeah, Rolo Tomasi. Did, if you remember Rolo Tomasi's record, yeah, like, dude. I can't remember where I was with him. We're like sitting somewhere having breakfast and he like brought up Rolo Tomasi and I was just like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, oh shit, you did, you produced their record. That's uh anyway, I mean, he's like yeah. from Florida, like, I don't know, like he loves Deftones and he was like, I was like, oh, Cannibal Corpse, Florida death metal scene. I was like, <laughs> yeah, whatever, bro. But then, I mean, he really did, I mean, I will say and old Diplo knows every f***ing genre of music that has ever existed and ones we don't know about yet. He f***ing <laughs> somehow knows about them two years before they were invented. <laughs> nice. And will produce the f***ing record that makes it a thing. Like, he's he's definitely really smart with all that shit and, like, super open-minded. What about Skrillex? Did you metal, brother. Yeah, and we did a bunch of Jack U Acid? stuff, which was, like, Diplo and Skrillex together. We right. did uh, that stuff for, like, two years or something. Like, a I was actually Randomly. really into that Justin Bieber song that was the Jack U. Yeah. So, just saying. <laughs> it was good. I mean, same thing. Those guys, like, I mean, I've all, I mean, our fucking whole I Wabo thing was like, we like everything. Yeah. Um, so, those guys are just crazy. Like, watching them do that song, like, just like in green rooms and airplanes, like, clicking into Ableton. And, uh, like, that song Lean On that Major Lazer did that was like the number one fucking song of all time for a while. Yeah. Like, literally just watching him, like, do that on, like, a flight. And then, like, track the vocals in a green room. It's like, all right, there you go. It's the number one song on the Jesus. planet. I'm rich now. It's, like, the same vibe as, like, what we all did. It seriously it was, like, DIY, like, f*** it. Like, who needs a label? I don't know. It's crazy. Same type of vibe. And Sonny, yeah, uh, f***ing Skrillex, dude. He's obviously, like, one of the kindest humans that's ever lived, so... Cool. So, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> All right, it's been good. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, cool. It's good to catch Actually, up. I, will. <laughs> I was also going to ask you about your company, what your company is. Well, <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll PayPal you that ten dollars later. Uh, that wait, nice am I get money out of this? Uh, no, you don't. Just you kidding. Don't. You definitely don't. Do um, nine slash nine, which uh, again we're just, you know talking really about naming things is awful. Yeah. Yeah, name the company and it's like Bradley Digital no one no one wants that it's like a law firm what is this it's awful it's a digital um, and like so, well I guess they're all digital law firms now <laughs> too anyway sure. too soon too soon uh, try to name it and I it's our wedding anniversary September 9th like 9 slash 9 so but it's like you wouldn't really know Think you just see it you're like 9 slash 9 what is that stupid shit right but it's our anniversary 
Oh, that's so cute. And uh, yeah, we do all sorts of, we run like social media for a ton of folks and make content, like shoot music videos and make ads, run ads and just put together marketing campaigns for all kind of folks. Nice. And uh, do playback, we used to do, a, I used to do a lot more like building playback rigs, like built the ones for like all those DJ guys and built them for like Miguel, if you know him, like The Midnight. Oh, the Midnight, uh, that's like badass. Awesome band. synth wave band, yeah. Those guys are awesome. Really? Same thing, man. Those guys are so nice. They're like... Oh, that's rad. And their story is crazy because they were just like two dudes who met on like a songwriting thing in LA and were like, oh, we gel. Let's write some more music together. Did The Midnight, like not even living in the same city and then it just sort of like slowly like took off and they're like, oh shit, we can go on tour. This is cool. And like the main songwriter dude in the band had like never played, a show, had never toured. He's just like a producer, a great producer. Really? So like putting together their like playback rig and like watching them like rehearse for the first time and it was like right, literally the first time they did it i was like this could be f-ing huge you guys yeah. are really good yeah and they are really good and they just keeps getting bigger and like i don't know yeah. I when feel i like first they could... heard them when i first heard them i just thought i thought they were an actual 80s band that i had somehow never heard of and i was like what the f- where has this been yeah. forever I it's amazing it's, it's great yeah, I think I'm sure it's great. I don't take any music preferences from you whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. You probably Mr. Imagine They're Dragons. Right. <laughs> I don't like Imagine Dragons. Do you, you not do. remember 2013? No. no. I do. No. I do. I, okay. Everybody like that uh, one right, song, on. though. So, so we're in Augusta, Georgia, and I wake up in the van somewhere. Oh, details. Like, he knows Lee's the city. Like, Yo. There's this band y'all got to check out. They're called Imagine Dragons. And he put it on in the van, and all of us were just like, No, that no the- way. Yes, it was, no. bitch. I remember it, <laughs> no. and I will never forget it. I must ever. have been really high. No, it was the worst thing ever, and I was so Wake mad at you for up. waking me up. Dude, it was so stupid. Anyway, sorry, go on. Yeah, that's why I sent you guys that thing that said that was like the short skit about oh, like... Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it was like... <laughs> No one should ever absolutely like Imagine Dragons or you're a fucking piece of trash. <laughs> That's you, Lee. Oh, yeah. I've always been trash. Come on, guys. Anyway, oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So, anyway, Imagine Dragons are my best friends. <laughs> See? Um, you're yeah, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're all great That's guys. even I better. Don't know, don't know them. Don't no, know the them. Midnight. They're there. They're fucking, yeah, love it. The Midnight are sick. They really are. And, like, awesome dude. I don't know. It's always nice when you're like, oh, this band's tight. Oh, and they're good humans. Yeah. That makes you feel better oh, about right. their music. Makes you love them so much more. So much more. And yeah. you also do some social media work, right? That's like, what you just said. Yeah, we're... Like, for... Yeah, we run social Billy. media for... <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus, yeah, we run all, uh, we run like Billy Ray Cyrus and stuff. I did his like last two music videos. Huh. Did not do the one for Old Town Road because that was like a forty trillion dollar video of Chris Rock. Jesus, Ross. wow. Um, but you were around for yeah, that's crazy. Like the era, and you knew, and you worked with him then. Yeah, we worked with him for like a year or two before that song came out. Like I distinctly remember the day that he was like, "Yeah, I'm doing like a version of this song," and we were just like cool <laughs> and like 24 hours 24 hours later it was like oh this is like already the biggest song on the planet yeah, and like I, sw- I swear to god like we uh saw earlier like columbia his label just posted it today like a few hours ago went 14 times platinum and it is now the most awarded song in the history of music Holy wow shit. Goddamn country rap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, that's I okay, but I, Imagine Dragons is bad. <laughs> yeah, Imagine Dragons is bad. <laughs> what do we have to say to you, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> uh, We're not doing this here. You're comparing We're heroin not doing this to pot. <laughs> We're not doing this. Fine, I'll leave it alone. But I mean, yeah, that, obviously that's uh, like that whole story is just <laughs> f-ing rad, though. That kid was just like, f- it, I made a song in my sister's living room, and now it's. The most like awarded song that's, or that's credit, amazing. whatever, so in really the history of music, in all of f-ing music. It's so I don't even know what like, Old Town Road is. I can't. Isn't think it, it like it a is video here. game reference or something like that? It's a song. No, like no. It literally was just him. I thought it was like a Red Dead like reference or something. Because I guess the original video that he put out just like had gameplay footage from that in the background uh-huh. or something. I don't know. Because I remember when he did like. Like Billy Ray, whatever we found out, he's doing the remix. So I looked the song up and I was like, "I I know I'm old and don't understand <laughs> things, but I'm not sure what's happening." But it's super fucking catchy. 
Like, right. And the fact that it's like a kid made it in his sister's bedroom when he's like homeless, like, it's f***ing rad. Like, a label didn't make that song. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's like the I same just, show I just remember before, the, like, the f***ing... I just didn't know what it was about, and somebody was saying, like, it's like a video game reference or something, and then I remember, like, the same day I heard that, I saw a video of that dude going to, like, a, like a grade school, and all the little kids knew all the words to that song, and I was like... What? Yeah. How do I? How did this happen? <laughs> how do I do this? The whole EP that he put out for that was pretty sick, actually. I will say, I just, I mean, it's like funny. What I was saying before, like about like watching like Wes and Sonny put together all that music, just like on planes in Ableton with like no one telling them shit, just doing what they wanted to do, and like even that Major Lazer song, Lean On, that was like the first song in the history of music to go number one, not on a major label. Mm-hmm. Like Wes put that out himself. He it's like his label. It's crazy. So I don't so know. Badass. It's just nice. It's like even if it's like music, you don't whatever love blah blah blah. It's like it's just fucking rad that it's like oh some guys did this and said Fuck everyone and it went number one. Yeah, it's not just bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. That doesn't happen for metal anymore, guys. You know, <laughs> like what yeah. is metal compared to all that? Five finger met punch. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, trapped is the real good one these days. We should have just, you know, Back here's off, what, dude. here's here's how you succeed in metal. Yeah, well, let's ask all our parents what they love and fucking just make songs like those bands. So. Dude, my dad, I've said it a thousand times. My father thinks Five Finger Death Punch is like the best band ever. Oh, hurts. My well, dad has never heard Five Finger Death Punch. I really don't think. Yeah, that's a good thing. Well, Moto Grader was way better. Just Moto saying. Grader was so much better. <laughs> and so was Ghost Machine. But oh no, Five Finger Death Punch has got to be the band that gets big. Stupid. <laughs> so, Stephen, we've also been doing, me and Fuzz and Tim Gorgon from Within the Ruins have been doing new metal podcast yeah. talks. And we've been asking people, what's their number one new metal influence that you can name off the top of your head? Hmm, Spine Shank. Spine yes, that was one of Tim's yeah. too. Tim was dude. all about Spine Shank, nice. dude. Dude, yeah. Spine Shank. Good just choice. listened to it the other day. Nope. Definitely like the oh, first God, metal God. band that did a lot of you know programming and mm-hmm. stuff like yep. that mm-hmm. in the in the song. Yeah, I, I was li- I listened to that record the other day, like the height of callousness. That's why I mentioned it because I don't know why I thought of it the other day and like put that record on and was like, yes, this shit is still sick. Is that yeah. the one with synthetic? Right. Yeah. Set that yeah. Up. Oh God, it's so bad. Oh, dude, that shit was awesome. Kids don't even know God. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> no, on the it's last one, metal on the last one we did with uh, uh, Lee from the funeral portrait, we were talking about, and in the middle of it, I said, "You know what? This podcast has become is just us bitching about how kids <laughs> don't fucking understand how like." how sick it used to be and kids just fucking suck now like it's just <laughs> like what we had to go through to go see these bands and listen to their records and all i do is bitch about it. i'm pretty sure every episode i bring it up and it's, it's just bullshit sorry yeah i'm over it or maybe maybe it's now you that is the bullshit Ooh, and kids. Whoa. take that back whoa Whoa. Take it back. I'm kidding. <laughs> Privilege. No, I'm kidding. I hate. no, I mean it is it is wild though to be I don't know. It's not it just is what it is. It's like time passes and shit changes, but like it does I, it's like a bummer. I feel bad for people that don't have that experience of being like waiting f-ing six months for a record to come out. Like f-ing, you get out of school, like go to the store and you buy that shit yeah. and like you they're sitting there listening to the whole fing thing. Like it was awesome to do that. But like it's also awesome now that bands can just put out a f-ing song once a month and like there's no formula and they can do whatever they want. But yeah, I they don't, don't know. It they, was, more, like, they more so I do don't, miss that experience. They they don't have the struggle. You know, they don't have they don't have the. Uh, I was at my homie's house two weeks ago on a Sunday and they played an album. What was that album? <laughs> you know what I mean. And then you're if like, only I had a thing in my pocket that could tell me what it was, <laughs> yeah. they immediately let me download it for nine dollars a month for all of music ever created yeah. in the history of. Fucking music. And then there's even this, there's more of a struggle too, where to where you're like, I know the name of the album, I'm gonna go get it, and then you're like, flip 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 flip, they don't even have it here. What the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, well, uh, especially like six, metal shit. You're like, damn it, Best Buy in Shreveport, Louisiana, or <laughs> Sam Goody in Shreveport. Yeah. Like, you don't even get copies of this fucking record in. And I requested it. You, <laughs> you said you'd get it. <laughs> yeah, we were also, we also, man, talk, we're old. We, well, we, 
this is how old I feel yeah. too. It's like I mean, you're old. You know, whenever they stopped. Do uh, spending a lot of time on cover art and uh, yeah, and like lyrics and stuff, and then finally one day you, your your new album showed up with just one little sleeve, and it was like the band is these people, and that's all it had on it. And you're like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How am I going to know what he's saying? <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. going to see unless it was corn, unless it was corn, and then you had you know the booklet, but you still didn't know what he was saying, and that yeah. was part of the art, oh. obviously. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. if you read the lyrics, it's R two to R to to bebop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's more nuanced than that. But. I was gonna say, <laughs> it's more complex than that. Yeah, like, come on. And hey. it's actually you not to read down. You not to read down. I mean, obviously. But. Yeah. Knick knack, patty whack. Get a dog a bone. <laughs> Give a dog a bone. Redfish, bluefish. Redfish, bluefish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I remember going to Sam Goody and asking, like, because I saw Papa Roach on a skate video somewhere and going to <laughs> the store and yeah, going. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed, all right? Uh, and going and asking, oh, no, like, hey. I was, thinking, I was on their street team. Yeah, see? Street team, by oh, the way. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Nice. But, yeah, they yeah. Uh, going in inside the store and asking, like, do you, do you have Papa Roach? You know, Because I had no way to access how to find who the, <clears throat> like, I just We went to on cue. In Gainesville. On cue, yeah, right. yeah. Hi, I would like to cut my life into pieces. Yeah. And you How can I do have an album that could help? Broken Home was a sick song. And Dead a Cell was sick. a sick fucking song. Too. I learned a lot of bass. Dead Cell was... Stop it! We're, we're not getting <laughs> sidetracked. I mean, you know... I mean, I love new metal. We could talk about it all As day. long as Pop Roach brought some people into the new metal scene that were first-time listeners... They did their job, you Dude, know. What he's I mean? got. He's actually, I think, got like rap albums. I think he puts out rap. Mm. Uh, you, you, nope. The most disappointing <laughs> thing about him, though, the most your face. Uh. The most disappointing thing about Jacoby is whenever he started wanting to be the guy from Eighteen Visions, and then I was just like, <laughs> "What are you doing, man? Just what's be, his name, be yourself." Earl? What's, what's the singer of Eighteen Visions name? Earl or something like Fuck that? Some out. crazy serial killer name. I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> serial killer name. But man, Eighteen Visions are so fucking good. Oh yeah, yeah. Tower of Snakes, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude, they're new. <laughs> they're actually that breakdown. Remember the, the first time you heard that breakdown? You're like, Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I know that their last record that. was heavy, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, dang. dude, dude. That, the the record yeah. they just put out like a year and a half ago was sick. I actually, uh, my girlfriend's friend who is into new metal, I started. He, we were over here having some beers, and I started bringing up some old stuff. And I was like, I was like, do you like Lamb of God? Um, I don't know, not really. Have you ever heard the first couple of albums? He's like, no. And then mm-hmm. I play it, and he's like, whoa. And then I like, Dude, I went the all the way. The new Lamb record's f***ing red, though. Black label I mean, all day. Art is yeah, the shit. Maybe I'm alone on that, but I think it's f***ing sick. The newest record is so good, and art art takes Chris's spot so well. Mm. Art, Dude. that goofy bastard. Art's f***ing awesome. He really I've, is. F***ing, I've gotten a, I hung out with him, saw Lamb of God here in Nashville, and I saw him at another festival in Nashville. I think it was his first show with the something like that and it was awesome it was like emotional i literally was like sitting back there like drinking tequila crying with art because dude like <laughs> toured i wabo toured with art or art like so many times like, i guess is that before you were in the band the first ones of plague tour the we did? first one yeah i wasn't there but we did europe and yeah. yeah but dude even like that first tour i remember like art would like put on lamb of god to like warm up it was like <laughs> I wabo winds of plague veil of maya yeah. and like every day art's putting on like lamb of god to like practice and shit that was, and then he joins lamb of god and i was like that, that, that was fucking on tour with, with slayer s- in an arena like Jesus. that's so sick for art like i fucking love art oh, i was yeah. like uh, and uh <laughs> that was the, that was the tour with the sick ass darth maul art right yeah. Yeah. That was a good. Wow. I haven't thought about that in like a decade. But that was a good laminate. It was just Darth Maul on one side. Hell yeah. And and our was... Darth Maul. Remember Darth Maul? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he, yeah. He, dude, he got. That was bullshit. How they kill him off, man. He should have. Well, they kind of back. back. Whoa, in whoa. In so Spoiler alert, bro. Maybe people haven't seen it. <laughs> dude, we did a three-part episode Fucking... on on that Star Wars shit, and those movies still suck. Uh, but no. Yeah. One, two, and three were trash. Don't even get me started. Yeah. Anakin's I mean, a bitch. Anakin is a fucking pussy. Don't even get me started on it. I celebrate all Star Wars, but like every time I hear people now complain about like the new Star Wars movies, I'm like, you you don't know. I, I fucking like skip school to go see that shit in the theater with my brother like, as a kid. F- and I had fucking sit through six hours of Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah. Like these. Yeah. 
Fucking new movies are great. Anyone well, fucking say that's they're the trash thing is with Star Wars fans, they can't make up their spoiled. minds of what they well, love and hate. They're never happy. <laughs> they're yeah. never happy. Yeah. But, but at but least spoiled. Back to being at spoiled. Least People are like, said, I get a Star Wars movie once a year, and it's like pretty good. Oh, it's so stupid. It's like, yeah, bitch. I waited like my entire lifetime to see Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, yeah. No shit. See, thank you. Well, <laughs> we waited so long for honestly Darth Maul, and then they halved him. In the first movie, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a half myself. I can't wait to see where his character development go. He's cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, then they bring him back a decade later Jar with, Jar. with metal legs in a cartoon that no one watched. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. no, the Clone Wars is pretty sick. I mean, Clone it was Wars pretty sick, sick yeah, but it's yeah. not. Come on, Darth Maul got done dirty, and you agreed. Know he did. Agreed. Right. Agreed. I mean, jo- but yes, Boba Fett got done dirty. Boba Fett got done dirty, and no one ever talked about that. You know what I mean? Because it was ridiculous. But redemption, he got redemption. He did. He did. No, he did. That's, good. That's the problem with these Star Wars fans. Their expectations are so large. But then in the original series, they did. They did shit like that. They killed off Boba Fett without him fucking saying like five words. The they whole just smacked series. the back of his jetpack. <laughs> yeah, and he goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know they made a reference to that. Jar first... Jar Binks. I'm just gonna keep saying that. Dude, he, that Do you remember? I remember trying to like even talking to my brother. I remember being in the car, like driving away from the theater after that, just being like, w- "Was that bad? I don't want to like say that it was bad, but Misa like, no did like that fucking suck?" <laughs> Misa kind of pissed. <laughs> He's like, and it's kind of like maybe they're racist in retrospect. What is he? Even, what is that accent? I don't know. He's canceled. Yeah, let's get Jar Jar Binks canceled. Let's redo all, every reference of him. Replace it with a better character. What's funny is that aren't they going to like uh, when they start on the new one? They're going to basically phase the last three out. Aren't they're, they? So they're the, going to say it took t- took place in a different. No, they're not actually phasing them out. But the rumor is that they're going to give director's cuts on the last three and like pick and choose what stays and goes. Because apparently there was a lot of uh, cut scenes, like in the final, like in the in the editing room. Apparently mm-hmm. Kathleen Kennedy was like, "No, nah, let's not use that story thread. No, nah, let's use not nah, use that one." So there's a lot of content that's supposed to go in there and apparently John Favreau wants to re-edit those movies so it like fits better with what's going on with what he's working John Favreau on. Could so just let him do anything he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Literally yeah. just yeah. let Absolutely. him do anything. Just yeah. f***ing do the it. I don't care. I mean... How many franchises elf, can he kick An elf? Yeah. Fucking Iron Man? Fucking Mandalorian? Like, yeah. Let me just he say did, I love Christmas you, movies, yeah. Marvel, yeah. and f***ing Star Wars. And he was a great actor too. PCU. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you Classic. blow me where the Pampers is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, that movie's so Jesus good. PC. <laughs> Dude, I know that when Mike brought it up the last time he was in town, I was like, "Holy shit!" I haven't seen that movie forever. Yeah, I was. Uh... We did. The, I watched the the holiday movies that made us on Netflix, and I was like, "Oh my god, Elf!" I totally forgot John Favreau mm-hmm. was the one to do this. So. Dude, everything he touches is sick. Obviously, you're a Star Wars fan. What other what other nerdy endeavors do you have in your life? Especially, like recent, especially yeah. You're nowadays, old, you're old now, so what's your new nerdy shit? I don't know. Now I'm mean, a nerd out just learning. I do a lot of video work now, like learning new video shit using uh after effects which is like the super nerdy program they use to do all the like f-ing star wars marvel sort mm-hmm. of crazy stuff mm-hmm. so i've been nerdy with that which isn't like a fun cool nerd answer <laughs> but it's really f-ing nerdy yeah um, and that takes a lot of tedious and work and accounting yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy because like I mean, i've been a nerd forever like i remember like trying to learn html when i was a f-ing kid mm-hmm. and like adobe flash which like and rest in peace. Lost, <laughs> lost that in 2020. Um, Thanks, 2020. Which is, yeah. But like, I used to have to go to like Barnes and Noble and buy a book, a really thick, <laughs> shitty, expensive book, like to save for a book. Which, if you don't know, and you're watching it, it's paper. They put paper together <laughs> and they put like a binding, like an edge on it, and then it's paper that you have to read. Dude, you're going to blow some of these kids' minds talking like that. Don't do like, that. It sounds dangerous. Lying about shit, man. It sounds dangerous, like if you carry it and drop it on something, like your foot. Man. Dude, that could be used yeah. as a weapon. Or a paper cut. Paper cut. <laughs> oh. Paper cut. Serious paper cut. <sighs> By Lincoln Park. Kids these days don't even know about paper cuts. <laughs> Dude, uh, but anyway, and now it's like if I want to learn how to like, do 
Like literally the other day, I animated a video of my father-in-law who's awesome farting like a giant explosion and said it to like because he was like joked about it and i was like did it and it's like i wanted to do that and i was like oh, i think i just flip it and like and throw this on it and i just literally go to youtube and like type in three things and there's like a 12 year old kid giving you a f-ing three hour rundown of how to like map this to here so when they move the butt explosion stays with the butt shoot. like literally the guys made a video about that you really got to get it like, on it's the wild now. that's the key you can learn anything, like YouTube University. You can learn anything. Oh, yeah. I don't know how colleges are convincing people that. I mean, I don't, whatever went to college, hurrah. So I'm not just hating, but like I don't know how people are like convincing people that college is still a thing. Because like I could probably f-ing learn open heart surgery on YouTube. Yeah, in like tomorrow. 15 minutes. Yeah. Like you, yeah. I've got the gist of it. Look, I'm good. Like that's why that <laughs> that remember the just Google it like the website and then <laughs> to where you, to where somebody could ask a question and you could literally send them a link of it typing oh, it yeah, in yeah, for yeah. you you know what i mean yeah that's just what the whole internet should be oh, dude. <laughs> <That's true. Yeah. laughs> like oh i could have learned this online but instead i'm standing in the kitchen yelling at you to give me the answer <laughs> that's true i'm not talking about anyone why specific. come this don't work good well, <laughs> internet. Did y'all remember ask jeeves speaking you know of that ask jeeves dude i thought you said ask jeeves yeah <laughs> That was a different. Yeah, that's what I heard at first too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I mean, ass cheeks. <laughs> that was a different. <laughs> yeah. Different website. That's the extent. I'm trying to think, I don't. I haven't watched anything nerdy or fun like, except Mandalorian, of course. Like that shit was amazing. It was right. Um, first oh, we're actually watching because it's kind of nerdy right now. It's not new though. Umbrella Academy. Oh, just dude, started so that, like, yes, I haven't gotten the it's second season really, yet. I haven't really watched second good. yet. I love Umbrella Academy. We and, binged and it all in one day. Freaking, and Alan and I did. Oh, nice. And shout that's out to uh, Gerard Way. You know, he wrote yeah, that's that crazy. comic. So that's amazing. He's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, I don't know. What else should I be watching? I don't even know. What else is out that's good? Because I feel like we've run through all of Letter oh, Kenny, uh, Netflix. Letterkenny. 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 Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Boys. That's not nerdy. You ever watch the what? the boys on Amazon? No, it's pretty much like yeah, a, it's good stuff. It's like a superhero show except for I'm seeing a, a head a head shaking yes and a head shaking no. Don't listen to him. Yeah, don't reviews. listen to him. So, he liked Imagine Dragons. You're gonna take his fucking <laughs> opinion over mine. Everybody's Come on. got something, okay? <laughs> well, okay, so it's just it's. It's a dark and gritty <sighs> version of superhero stuff, except for the company that puts together oh, all the superheroes is like I have evil. seen that. Yeah. yeah. Did wait? Was that the thing that Run the Jewels do a video that was like a crossover with that? Oh, I think they did. Yeah. did. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's how I know about. Yeah, Run the but Jewels. that that show is. If you're watching this and you don't like Run the Jewels, fuck you. you. Yeah, exactly. Probably. Yeah, There's, I don't know. You just leave. <laughs> don't ever yeah. watch this show again. Yeah, just, I got no words. I got no words. Just don't kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill yourself. But so kill damn yourself. good. <laughs> so uh, one of the things we did, you know, in our past was we made a movie. I get a lot of questions about the movie, you know, and some people are still hitting me up about it, like saying they've never seen it. Where can we find it? Can I get a copy and stuff? And I'm like, don't lie. It's one person. It was one person on Instagram. I've actually, (laughs) dude, I, there's been times where I like, I worked at Windstar for a while and I met someone that was like, oh my God, I know your band, whatever. And they would ask me about the movie. I was like, let me, let me, let me let you borrow the movie. So I let them borrow it. And then I got like six people hitting me up. Like, where can I get one also? And so like, there's times where like people have asked me, you know, and I've like tried to get them a link or I've sent them like a YouTube link of like our short clips and stuff. And I've definitely got like, a, you know, a dozen people being like, dude, where can I find this? You know what I mean? So where do you know where we can uh, find that <laughs> no hell no i have no idea like that whole experience was crazy because i was the one that had to like talk to our label and be like so we're making a movie i know you gave us money to make a music video right that'll be in there right but we need more money because it's a movie and like steve joe like the and our guy at the time who like was so cool and was always like yeah i trust you guys go for it Turns out he shouldn't have trusted us. What a seven, people yeah. seven people bought that DVD. Yeah. Um, well, we didn't really have a you know the singer that was in the movie you know to market it you know mm, so it was like kind of yeah, a big true. fucking bummer. It was it was also like Beasley and Corey all those guys like not hating on them like 
crushed it insane and like now especially that i do more like photo video work and all that like thinking how they did even some of the effects in that mm-hmm. or like some of the videos they did for it yeah. like it's danger in the those danger dudes are that video for me to, like to even think about doing that video and this is like 10 years later is like insane those guys are like mm-hmm. brilliant yeah but Turns out we are not uh, good a- actors. Uh, the movie is not exactly good. Not through their fault, through like my fault, and slightly less your fault, probably. But I mean, it was. It's not. I haven't seen that shit in like years. I remember going to the like, premiere. Like, we went yeah. to the premiere. Yeah, yeah I had to yeah, yeah. sit through that shit. <laughs> Luckily, dude, there were like alleged, alleged drugs of- handed to me before, so I. Well, you had drugs. Well, yeah, Aww. and it was not uh, allegedly. I was not func- allegedly. I was not functioning <laughs> properly, so I think I fell asleep. To be a hundred percent honest, with you. but I, I have seen that it. is the, like the worst I've ever felt. Like I don't care. Like playing music, it's like whatever. Like playing the biggest festival ever, something like that. Not in some cocky way. But, like I don't care if I'm playing guitar. Like I'm good. I don't care. Not that I think I'm great. I'm just not uncomfortable. Sitting in a f-ing movie theater watching that movie with people <laughs> was like. Oh god! Oh, this is—it was like literally my nightmare. Like I'm yeah. not even going. Like I would never. This thing we're doing right now in a million years, I would never watch it. Oh, it's like my nightmare. Like I enjoy talking to you guys. It's fun, but like seeing me talk and all this shit. Like I never watched a single interview we ever did, much less the fucking movie. Yeah. Like I watched it the one time, and I was like, "This is so sick. We did it." And like Beasley and Corey, all these and all their team crushed it. But like seeing me. F- exist is like literally the worst f-ing part of my existence seeing it like that sounds really dramatic and like whatever like, it's just so awkward so yeah it's like not good just watching yourself in a music video hurts it's cringy oh, yeah. no matter what like, like it, it just sucks but yeah that movie cringy though. is like the word but if i'm playing guitar in a video i don't mind like i can watch the old music videos it's fine but then it's like do a little part where you talk i'm like oh yeah no so Dude, i can't do it leave me alone so when it comes to that movie yeah. you know like i i've watched it you know, within the last year or something like that, maybe last year, At but least like once a week. the the <laughs> only the only thing that I could complain on that movie it's is pl- I think like, I hear it faintly playing <laughs> in the background. Yeah, the room Dude, right. He's been waking us watch around, this the whole time. I, yeah, but he's like, if you're coming to my house, we're watching this movie and really we do that every days. time, Mike. It's literally Jesus. a blank screen, guys. Come <laughs> it's, on, it's, I'm watching it right now. <laughs> but the only thing that I complain on with that movie is like there is a couple of scenes at the beginning that are just ran way too long you know what i mean but we like the whole movie <laughs> but we were trying to hit we were trying to hit a certain time limit you know what i mean so it's like it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's almost as good as a surrounded by monsters oh, okay <laughs> yeah, oh, we're surrounded by monsters. that band was only as good as its manager down. am i right <laughs> <laughs> yeah we should probably should call Andrew about that. Somebody no, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that. I, I am so grateful for what you did for me and my band. You have no yeah, idea. I respect yeah. you more than most people in the music industry, and I mean that too. Well, that's really sad to hear, but uh, thank you. No, dude. <laughs> no, I, mean, I know how you take you compliments. Awesome. You take them like I do, I but uh, I've, I could never be mad at you for anything because of what you did for me, and I mean that 110%. Like it's fucking sick that I well, got to do the stuff I did. It's pretty sick. So yeah, let's, you well, know, let's, I mean, you guys are an awesome band. You deserve the fucking world. And I don't know. I was happy to do one small fraction of a percent of something. Are you guys gonna fuck or seriously? Work? It was awesome. <laughs> it, it doing you guys like I record. It's crazy. I recorded you guys like nineteen separate times. Yeah, I know. Like that one time. That one time was like legit, and it was awesome. It was like wow, we were like it's a real thing. But yeah. there's other times in like. Our living room. I don't even know who all was there. If it was I, I've because recorded of her in or two what it was. Of your living rooms. That's true. In yeah. Louise, both in yeah. Shreveport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the lineup with Ross and Justin Brock. Yeah, that right? was the first that time, was, and then the next shit, time was me at the other house that's where I passed right. out I in the middle of the party. I just laid down on the floor and this went to sleep. Asleep, <laughs> not wasted, not wasted at all. <laughs> Didn't drink anything. Asleep, full on. There's 30 people in the house partying. Stepping over him, he's right yeah. next to the kitchen. I'm just staring at him like, what the f- how? It's like, don't snoring. don't touch him. Don't anger him. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wake him up. Everybody's it's just like, like, is this guy okay? He's like, no, he's just sleeping. He's yeah, all right. Yeah, for any, so any for anyone that doesn't know, I was in a band at the time, like way back in the day, called Surrounded by Monsters, and 
Steven was in a band called Statues Cry Bleeding. Uh, and I still have a Statues Cry shirt yeah. at my house. It's and and that's I still love to have that album. That's like way. that's pretty much yeah. how we met. And you know, we would trade shows in Texas and and Shreveport, Louisiana, oh, stuff like that. Fucking rip, yeah. dude! That pee Shreveport. on your nuts, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's thinking about yeah. it. He's trying to figure out what it is. Or he's frozen. <laughs> oh, he's frozen. Yeah, he's frozen. Did you freeze? Yeah. Uh, anyway, go there, on. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> the connection is getting yeah. bad. I should definitely. I don't know why it's connect. making me do the robot when the connection gets worse. Anyway. But oh on. my God, the Gainesville house. Who all lived in that Gainesville house oh, that had like both of multiple us. animal infestations? Oh yeah. I, oh, yeah. I was there quite a bit. There's uh, a lot of infestations. I, didn't ne- I never slept there one time. I just drove home drunk because f*** that. Mm-hmm. House. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird shit going on. That was, I distinctly remember sleeping in an inflatable like boat in the kitchen <laughs> yeah. one time yeah. and waking up because oh, yeah. there was yeah. a cockroach. <laughs> a cockroach on my face. Waking up because the cock... And like, I'm a pretty deep sleeper. And I woke up because there was obviously been more than one bug crawling on me. But the cockroach on my actual face... Who would have known like they could screaming. get your boots? They were just you know? having a meeting on your face. <laughs> yeah. And Joel, I would just think Joel Reynolds being asleep in like the floor next to me and screaming because I was screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, oh, man, good was times a good house. He's had a lot of bad luck with uh, insects and stuff, you know? <laughs> Remember that one f***ing yeah. spider bit him on the arm and f***ing his arm oh almost fell off? God. <laughs> Forgot oh, about really? that. Deeper I remember having to like I've had multiple experiences like that in life now where someone's like, I'm not like a super big, like, oh, headache, gotta go to the doctor. But I've had so many experiences now where someone's like about to die. And I'm like, look, man, I hate the f-ing hospital too, but we have to go. <laughs> Joel's, Joel's arm, it was literally like this thing sticking off there and had like a cavity full oh, of like pus, yeah. liquid cheese. And he was just squeezing. You might have to off, edit dude. this part out. Trigger warning. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> It was wild. I've never seen, still never seen anything quite like that. And he's like, I think it's getting better. And he's like woozy, <laughs> like his sweat dripping up. Like, We're going to go saliva is green for some reason. <laughs> so <laughs> like $74,000 later, uh, yeah, they like cut off like a softball off his arm and gave oh. him antibiotics. You have such descriptive things going on it made me you ever thought about writing a children's book (laughs) (laughs) well that's actually why i agreed to do this inspiration (laughs) i've written an inspirational book for children it's called give up now Don't it's, be this guy. It's called Don't Be Like Lee. Uh, I, didn't yeah. make the joke. Like I already dragons. made the joke. So you can't make the like joke. After I, I make the joke. I say that. Somebody, nobody ever, like, seriously, I'm not being you know, like self deprecating whatever. Nobody ever writes me and asks about the band stuff. Ever. Really? For the first time in so long, somebody did the other day. And all he wrote me was like, hey, man, I just wanted to say it was great meeting you at some show at some point. He was like, Honestly, like how bad you guys all looked and how bad you in particular smelled made me give up on wanting to be a touring musician. <laughs> Inspiration. I was like, yeah, like my granddaddy like said. The biggest bad game in the dreams. world. Like, oh, Thank f*** you for yeah. smelling bad, but I didn't want to tour anymore. And then, I mean, I read that too and was like, I've got a lot of faults. Don't get me wrong, but like you can back me up in this. I was never the smelly one. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like, Mikey, I was the smelly Mikey's one. Mikey's the nastiest one uh, out of y'all's whole band. So gross. I, I mean, my show clothes got pretty bad. I was gonna say you're sitting next to the human that I would. Uh, <laughs> but hey, pay for. you have to remember I was that though. Human. I was that guy. I might have been smelly sometimes with my show clothes and stuff like that. But remember bubbles. <laughs> Because I think I was a step yeah. up in cleanliness, even though I love Who's bubbles. Bubbles, Brian. Oh, <laughs> Brian he never Hitler. changed yeah. out of his show clothes. Yeah, and that's what I started learning to do. You can't taint your normal clothes with the show presence. <laughs> Which Dude, is your show clothes would be like I've never really seen clothes turn white and be like like out of a cartoon where clothes are like so smelly that they're stiff. I was like, oh, that cartoon. <laughs> they could stand on their own. That, right. Yeah. Right. That was your your X Men your like X Men shirt that you cut the sleeves off yeah. of 
literally was that. They just like stood up in place. And <laughs> right. <laughs> it was disgusting. You would be like, where's that hook you, were, you hung your sh- clothes on? There was no hook. It was just leaned <laughs> up against yeah. the wall. It's a funny <laughs> story. It stands on its own. <laughs> he still wears that shirt all the time. He's never washed it. No, that's not true. I actually <laughs> threw it out the it other day. The other day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been, he you know. It, if, you pan the camera, the if you pan the camera to the side right now, it's hanging on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not hanging. It's just standing up against the wall. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a doorstop. You mean the doorstop? <laughs> it's in a glass case like like Annabelle the doll, and it's like, do not open. <laughs> like, you like have could to keep cause it in the glass case because it'll kill you if you smell it now. <laughs> you know, Adam, who was Adam from Oceano, ne- like he wore that uh, windbreaker. And mm. it was the nastiest oh, smelling fucking thing I've oh, ever really? smelled in my entire life. Yeah. yeah. You wore it every on night. On all stars, like, I walked up to him to give him a hug and was like, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, uh, let go. Dude, you, know, you know what, dude? I'll hug you when you change. This is horrible. And he's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Didn't we, didn't we share a bus with him in Europe that we yeah. tour? Yeah. Yeah, like the first yeah. the first European tour, they were on it. And I love those guys so yeah. much. They're great dudes. They're so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, I love love Adam still to this day. But I can I can recall when someone's show clothes would be stinking. <laughs> oh, <dude>. Yeah, <laughs> and it was gross too, dude. Like, but I'd learned a lot of things from those guys. Like, don't wear <laughs> underwear during your set so you don't ruin your underwear. <laughs> there should be like a card game with just like the smelliest show clothes and its power level. Oh. <laughs> dude, the coolest thing I saw Adam do. The coolest thing I saw Adam do. He, some dude jumped up on stage. I can't remember where we were at, and he he like started screaming, and he had him in, like it almost had a headlock, and, and just then like turned backwards. backwards and fell backwards. Yeah, I was like, dude, <laughs> stone cold. And nobody caught him, and nobody caught him. He just went to the ground. Yeah, no, both he, of them did. Stone they, cold. They both stun went back. Yeah. Oh, I know. I was there. <laughs> I was like, oh, it was God. amazing. I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever and seen. I'm this. sure. I'm sure the person he was holding died immediately. Yeah. And Adam worth it. Their head just popped. Adam. Adam drank his soul from his body and became stronger and a better somehow and even better. That was the jacket the whole time. The jacket from fucking Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's him. He mm-hmm. just drinks their soul. Yeah. <laughs> you, dude, you, how are your lows so low? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just check out the souls. Your ass. <laughs> Screaming souls. Dude, <laughs> do you remember that? Remember on that one tour we did, uh, there would be like a break in a song, and he'd always make up some fucked up shit to say. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, dude, he's still. Oh man, yeah. I the one that. time he goes, what? Uh, he's like. Avenge slavery. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. killed it. <laughs> that was a, was that in Europe? I think it was in Europe yeah. too. So nobody knew what he was talking about. <laughs> it was in like Italy. It was in one of the countries where like people's English isn't quite as good as right. like, some other spots in Europe. And I just remember he said that. And everyone in the green room, we were all like pissing our pants. <laughs> the whole crowd was just like. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm gonna punch this guy in the face, but what the f did he just say? But like it literally it's like the climactic build up and a cutout and he's just like Avenge slavery. <laughs> and then like a bunch of like white Italian kids <laughs> beats the shit out of each other. <laughs> Oh, I love Adam. Yeah, I absolutely. Like so much. Absolutely. <laughs> Adam's so fucking funny, and his vocals. St- I remember like the first show of that tour, and just hearing him live and being like, "How, how does he do that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's so heavy." Yeah. Now he's a. Uh, now he's the Black Mario. Have you seen that? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. He does. Same. He's, he's on huge on Twitch. Oh, really? And he That's dresses badass. up. He dresses up like Mario, just and he has his, he has his own persona. Yeah. Black Mario. Yeah. That's amazing. I Go have check to watch it out, this. dude. And he just parties hard. Holy and Mosh shit. is in his living room. I don't know why we don't do that. <laughs> I do it all the time in front of my daughter, and she makes fun of me. And he's found like a new way to use Twitch because I, I never seen anybody use it like that. He would he would like preview metal albums, and then like and whenever somebody tipped him, he would chug beer. And so it would be like, it would show on the screen, it would show like a little green mushroom every time someone tipped him, and it started filling up on the screen, and he was like, yes, give me more! And he's like chugging beer, and it's like, ding, 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 ding. Respect. Respect. It's like, wow. Jesus, I could have been doing that this whole time? a long time I could ago. do that and make Now money? I'm old. <laughs> oh, f- dude. Good times. But all right. We're old now. So, you know, we're pushing into the like, yeah. Uh, you know, the last 10 minutes maybe or so. But uh, question. If somebody asked you, what happened with Iwabo? What would you say? Uh, can, no. <laughs> oh, he's cutting out again. Oh, he's freezing up. That's weird. No. 
you know, it's hard to answer without digging too deep into a lot of, you know, our human problems that we all had as a band that's lived together in a house and in a van for a like close to a yeah, decade. And you guys <laughs> never like not saw each other. Like, yeah. You saw, oh, we get home from tour. Cool. I don't have to see you for ten minutes. Yeah. That's cool. You know, like, Which, by the way, the more people I tell that to, like even as the years have progressed, I like mention that they're like. I'm sorry, rewind the story. Yeah. Yeah. You lived with your band? <laughs> yeah. Every single person I've told that to is like, what the? Yeah, How it's did funny. you guys make it past one record? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, it was fun. We didn't. We just yeah. lost a member well. every record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I should but have been there whatever. That's why you joined the band. It worked. Yeah, Fuzz, Fuzz was like, yeah. "Why didn't Why didn't I get a shot? Why did Mikey get a shot?" <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> still still very not happy about that. I remember Stephen telling me one time he was like, "He was like, I, I would be sick to have you in the band too, man." But you and Mike, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I, I don't that. don't remember that," but it's like it would still be my like answer. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like, like if you guys if you guys today you guys were like you want to get together and like do some Deftones covers you'd be like yeah with like one of you yeah <laughs> or like maybe no, you on Friday and you on Saturday you said specifically us on tour together would not be good Jesus Christ. I was like yeah, yeah, yeah well I mean there'd be a lot of belligerent alcoholism to deal with if the two true. of you there were still is true. Just, Mike doesn't Aww. drink as much now it's a lot yeah, he's still a piece of shit <laughs> well also it. you get to leave you get to leave and go home yeah as soon as it gets to that point as soon as his alter ego which it you know I guess doesn't anymore but as soon as uh, the alter ego comes out you can be like about that time you <laughs> yeah. trail. Well, yeah. whereas for me it was like I guess I'm gonna go into the other room where I sleep next to you and you were like wake up <laughs> yeah so I, like, well, I guess I'll go sleep outside and then you'd be outside like oh am I drunk <laughs> with those hollow eyes <laughs> that wasn't me are you talking about you or him <laughs> yes. the same thing the same I was thing. talking about how I almost got in a fight with Lee the other day because he would be or not the other day but like way back when he'd be like, tour, he'd, tour. he was drunk as shit because Mike got him drunk as shit and was like I was like, come on, dude, we're here. Let's go. Let's go inside. And he was just like, what? I was like, come on, Lee, let's go inside. <laughs> I fell asleep. Are you fing with me? I drunkenly fell asleep. And he asleep. just wanted to fight because I was trying to get him to go inside the I house. wanted to fight that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you trying to are you trying to help me right now? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? You never right. answered the question. Yeah, you never answered the question. Let's get back to that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I mean, I really, I mean, I'm not trying to like hide anything. I don't know. It's so crazy to me. It probably sounds so, I don't mean it in a shitty way, but like it literally feels like seven lifetimes ago now that like, right. We were like recording that like gift of death video. Right. And like literally remember like touring, we were always like joke. It's like one year of tour is like, it's like dog years. It's like seven yeah. years shaved yeah. off your like actual life. Or one year like, of 2020. Doing, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But, like, doing, especially, like, the DJ tour stuff after that, and, like, don't mean this in a shitty, negative, whatever way, but, like, every year I did that, I had the, like, 100,000 miler tag on every major airline. It's, like, when you're flying, like, 300,000 miles a year, whatever the hell, like, it was cool, and it was, like, super, can't complain, slept in a lot of Walmart parking lots and eating <laughs> nothing for weeks on end, so it was, you know, cooler than that and all, but uh, doing all that tour, Phil, is like, it was, like, an entire lifetime of f-ing traveling and all that. So I don't even know. I guess we all hated each other. And uh, then we didn't do a band anymore. Is that the best answer? <laughs> I mean, I'll take, I'll accept it. Yeah. I mean, you know, mostly how I answer that question is like, you know, Steven started doing his own thing. There was a lot of miscommunication with us out on the road and him doing his own thing. And then eventually it, just didn't work you know what i mean so yeah. oh i i totally like this is bad I don't mean forget, but like overlapping that timeline towards the very end was like i was in the hospital with my mom for a few months while she died yeah so that was a pretty big part of it right for sure and, yeah, and that creating life crisis ex- existential dread of like i've been on tour for a decade and made 17 dollars <laughs> uh, maybe 18 you know <clears throat> Right. Yeah, still doing, still doing the robot for some reason. And again, not complaining. Like the fact that every time people ask me, they're just like, "All right, we'll talk to somebody now." And they're like, "Yeah, I actually looked up your band." And they're like, "You guys did a lot of stuff." And I'm like, "We really did." I don't yeah. know how the hell. Like we toured 
it's like fucking 40 countries, something insane. That like a weird band from, well, Shreveport, Louisiana, but not you, bro, but kind of you, bro. <laughs> like, how did we do that? I still don't know did how our guys, band oh, managed you guys took to over do. The world for a solid like four years, dude. Like it was. It was, it was crazy, so sick to and see. I mean. It, it was like a little microcosm of the world, you know, like this little thing, but like, it was crazy. I still am like so shocked and like whatever and am lame. I feel so fucking fortunate. We got to do all that stuff. Like, it's crazy. Like, that's crazy. There was still, I would joke about it. Like at the beginning, like the Diplo Major Laser tour, when it was still like three of us out on tour, like I'd be somewhere with Wes. He'd be like, Oh, it's crazy. This is my first time here. And I'm like, Oh, it's fine, man. You'll come back again someday. My band played here twice. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. You're doing okay. Yeah, Serbia. Like, I swear uh, to God. <laughs> been here. <laughs> yeah. Bosnia, no big deal. Right. Party, but party it on the we, we, beaches we really of Croatia. We really a lot of crazy shit. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. pretty Dude. bitter about it because I, st- I started working for bands when we stopped touring, and then I did one. I did the All-Stars run with Iwabo and was stoked on it, and then I couldn't do the next tour because, you know, adult stuff. And then it was like, all right, we're not doing it anymore. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll go f*** myself. This is cool. I finally found a band that I like working for. And here I am. All right. Okay, no, no, it's cool. I'll just stay at home and be a dad now. So that's cool. I mean, that tour was pretty dope because you were dadding us. I know. So. I was dadding you guys hard. Yeah. He would dad us so hard that there was... Somebody, a- somebody had to dad you. Oh, dude. <laughs> at one point in time, Courtney and I think young Michael were like, what? Because I told him we're no. leaving at this time. Yeah. We're leaving it was like, at this time. It was the end of tour, I think. And he, he, Fuzz was like, "We're leaving at this time. We need to be back. I'm not fucking around." And Courtney was like, "Wait, no, it's the last day. We need <laughs> to hang care. out." Okay. And he was like, mm, uh. "He's like, I don't know if I should let this go." <laughs> yeah, I was. I've never hit a woman before, but I'm angry. <laughs> Push him in. <laughs> that's what you said. That's what you said. You don't have to lie to the people. Uh, yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, where no, I was just raised, that's what Allegedly. You said. Allegedly. Allegedly. No. Allegedly. <laughs> but anyway. You know, if anyone wants any life advice, don't live with your band yeah. for a decade. Yeah. That's probably. actually really good advice. Yeah. 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 True Because when we would get home from tour, I wouldn't talk to my band for like a month. That's just true. Just because I didn't like them. But I had to tour with them because we, you know, got signed. I lived with them. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I see, I have so many friends now, like that I've met, even through, like moving to Nashville, who are in like big band, like doing whatever, and they're every time they even hear that we all live together, they're like, "I love my band." Like even people who are, it's also when you're like twenty, shit's a sure. lot. You know, you get older, mellow out, and figure shit out, and all this. But like even people like whatever older who are just like, "I fucking love my band," but. Hell no! What is wrong with you guys? Y'all are dumb as yeah. hell. Yeah. How could we have afforded to do the band for as long as we did if we didn't like cut bills down by sharing everything? Like, yeah, that's true. Like, that was the one way it was like genius. Yeah. And like when we would go do like Southeast Asia and whatever, all these tours, it's like, well, we might break even or might lose a thousand dollars, but it's like. Well, at least we can just get less groceries at Walmart when we all go together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like we didn't times. have five rents to pay. Or, I don't yeah. know. And obviously, <laughs> the overall experience was amazing. And nowadays, it hurts to know that we did so much and I do so little now. Yeah, so. I know I should have been in the band. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I remember getting a text the first run Mike did with you guys. He texted me. He's like, yo, Fuzz, how quick could you learn the Iwabo set? And I'm like, dude, you tell me when I need to know it and I'll have it done and then i never heard anything else and i was like oh okay i think cool. that was like <laughs> that was like one of those weeks where we were like mikey what are you doing dude like- i was so i was so bitter about it because i hated my band so i was like so stoked to like, be in Iwaba. And then- that was one of those weeks where we're like mikey you lost your passport you left pubes in the fucking hotel bathroom all over the <laughs> counter seven days in a row we've got pee bottles you know exploding in the van What's oh my happening? god i forgot about pee bottles <laughs> Pee bottles. We've all got our faults, okay? Right. Pee, bottle, pee bottles are weird, though. Oh, I, I yelled about pee bottles. Because I stayed in the front of the van. The front bench seat was my seat when I was out and with them, and I was just like, I swear to God, if you put a fucking pee bottle up here, I will fucking dump it all over you. Never. I still think my favorite, my favorite thing, it's not even like 
you're talking shit or negative, it's hilarious that Mikey did was for so long blame Mildred for eating food in the van. And then like one day, like casually coming clean about it, like he's like, oh, that was just me. I ate it and blame the dog. <laughs> we're like, it's like, dude, what? You can't just like casually mention that. It's been seven years of you eating my Quiznos sandwich. Dude. Like, and it never sorry, stopped either. Like I remember on the tour. <laughs> That's so no, Mikey. That's the yeah, best part about it. On the it. tour, <laughs> when, when you weren't there, there was a point in time where like just – we did this like overnight drive and then uh, young Michael the next day is like, wait a minute, who was eating mustard next to my white shoes? <laughs> and we were like, oh, what? And then Mikey's like, I may have had a corn dog last night. <laughs> and he, so he's like, why would you eat a corn dog and set the mustard packets on my white shoes? Yeah. And, you know, obviously it was like, see, fucking Mikey. That's so Mikey. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it's been fun, Steven. It really has, dude. Seriously, I love you. It's yeah. stupid. Don't be a stranger. Say yeah. hi to me every once in a while. Just saying. Yeah, and I'm and I miss Fucking you. And pick up, pick up the phone, bro. I did. I texted you the other day. Did I not? Did I text you back within like four seconds? I know, and I, was, I appreciated that. I, you know, okay. I just had to make the first move. It's cool. God, just f- already, Jesus. dude. I would if he was here. I'd do it. <laughs> I mean, there was. <laughs> so there was so there was honestly way less you know awkward moments than i thought today it's you know true. once we started talking about wobble stuff i thought it might get awkward but know, dude but the past shit, is the past, the past I mean, is definitely the past i've known you since way before that and uh i think we had fun for like 90 percent of the time that i wasn't like freaking out and you weren't <laughs> Drunk and screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. I was just faking the whole time, Alleged. honestly. I'm going to pull the Lee card. I knew what I was doing, man. It's, you know, at least freezing up. I at was so over up. that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even know if you care to share, like, you know, where to find you, where to find your social media and shit like that. I your guess, company. Yeah, yeah. Blow it up if you need. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I already make enough money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I make yeah. tons of money. Yeah. 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 Stupid I wear sweats all day. I have plenty of money, all right? <laughs> <laughs> My maid's going to well, come in here and clean these cans up as soon as this is over with. So. <laughs> she, he's already here. So. <laughs> Rosalie, Get down, Rosalie. Uh, yeah, Wait. Yeah. Cocaine's in the bottom drawer. The company thing we do. It's called 9 slash 9, whatever. It's like the thing. Dude. That's perfect. Need some content or whatever, don't call me. Get on YouTube and figure it out. It'll be fine. <laughs> That's the best line I've ever heard. That in my sounds life. about right from Steven. That All right. right. Well, I have to pee incredibly <laughs> badly. <laughs> and it's been amazing talking to you. Also, congratulations, yeah. congratulations on the child. Dude. Yes, coming. very much so. On much Brad so. Bradley, baby. Brad, Brad, Bradley Brad. Bradley. It's Brad Brad Lee Bradley. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. The greatest thing. That kid's not gonna be a serial killer. <laughs> What about those vegetable names we were working on? Brock Lee. That's a good one. Brock you know Lee. I mean? yeah. As long as you have Lee in it, it's all that matters. Mac uh, Maroney. Oh, my God. Yeah, what was the, like, combining animals? It was like... Oh, Cobrantula, dude. Cobrantula. Cobrantula. Yeah, Cobrantula. 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 Rattle bear. The rattle bear. <laughs> rattle bear. I still want a rattle bear tattoo. What God. was that? Boa condactyl. <laughs> yeah. The boa condactyl. Oh, and, and the Damn. sneagle. The sneagle. Yeah, the snake and the eagle. Anyway, let's just be oh, I was thinking beagle. Does that make me cooler or lamer? No, know. we're, we're all equally Much lamer. Lame. Much lamer. All equally lame. <laughs> All right, yeah. I anyway, have to love be you so bad. <laughs> love you. All Sorry, right, Steven. F- can hang up. Love you. All right, see love ya. you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Later, Later man. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs>